Hi everyone. Welcome once again to Reasons Now Told, video blog by Ray Behenting of RB Sugbo Game Foul Technology. Topics discussed here are from the online course Practical Science of the Game Foul taught at Advanced Game Foul Academy. Now, for today's topic, here's your host. Our topic today is maintaining cockside and hen side of matings. In livestock breeding, breeders always maintain a cockside and a hen side of matings. We also heard this from old timers in game fowl breeding. Although old timers failed to tell the reasons clearly, now, science can explain. The reason is there are traits that can be inherited only from the father. Example or sex linked traits that can only be inherited by the pullets from the father. And, there are traits that can be inherited only from the mother. Example is mitochondrial inheritance. Also there are traits that can be observed only from one sex. But not from the other. Example are extreme gameness on the cock side. And egg laying rate on the hen side. You cannot assess the gameness of a hen. Because you don't fight hens in the pit. You cannot assess the egg laying capability of a cock. Because roosters don't lay eggs. There is also the so-called sex-controlled and sex-limited inheritance. Sex-controlled or sex-influenced, is a genetically controlled feature. That may appear in organisms of both sexes. But is expressed to a different degree in each. The character seems to act as a dominant in one sex. And a recessive in the other. Sex-controlled gene is a gene that can be inherited by both genders. But is usually expressed differently in males and females. Sex-limited gene is a gene that can be inherited by both genders but is usually expressed in only males or females. Taking these genetic factors into consideration, logical thinking dictates that maintaining separate lines of broodcocks and brood hens is advantageous. Yes it is true. It is advantageous to maintain a line of broodcocks, called the cock side, on one hand, and a line of hens, called the hen side, on the other. Learn this important technique. What are these traits and how to do it? This is discussed in depth in the online course, Practical Science of the Game Fowl. Imagine the advantage that you will have if you learn this method. It would then be much simpler for you to produce game fowl you want. Enroll now.